Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, we have a math Olympiad problem, and I am sure you are going to find it very interesting. The task is to find all the values of x that satisfy this equation. There are several ways of doing this, but most of them involve having to solve polynomials that look like x is to the power 4, x is to the power 3, x is to the power 2. And oftentimes, this can be very tedious. So in this tutorial, I am going to show you a much simpler way of solving this equation completely. Now, from our studies of indices, you know that we can write this equation as 1 over x squared plus 1 over 4 minus root 3x squared is equal to 1. Written in this way, it is easier for us to see that we are dealing with two squares that add up to one. And also it brings to mind another mathematical identity, this identity. So what we are going to do is to equate sine y to one over x and cos y to one over four minus root three x solve for y and hence solve for the corresponding values of x so let sine y be equal to 1 over x and of course we have that x is equal to 1 over sine y and cos y be equal to 1 over 4 minus root 3x. From here we have that 4 minus root 3x is equal to 1 over cos y. But we have already established that x is equal to 1 over sine y. So what we are going to do is to replace x in this equation with 1 over sine y. When we do that we have 4 minus root 3 over sine y is equal to 1 over cos y. The next step is to move this quantity over to the right hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have 4 is equal to root 3 over sine y plus 1 over cos y. The next step is to combine these two fractions into one single unit. When we do that, cos y times root 3 is root 3 cos y plus sine y times 1 is sine y divided by sine y times cos y. That is sine y cos y. And this remains equal to 4. Then we cross multiply. When we cross multiply, what we have is 4 times this. That is 4 sine y cos y is equal to root 3 cos y plus sine y. The next thing is to divide both sides of this equation by 2. From here we have 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we have 2 sine y cos y is equal to root 3 over 2 cos y plus 1 over 2 sine y. Now, at this point, let us remember the trig formula that says that sine a plus y is equal to sine a cos y plus cos a sine y. When we compare these two right hand sides, you will see that we have cos y, we have cos y, we have sine y, we have sine y. So the question becomes, is there an angle a whose sine is root 3 over 2? and whose cosine is half. 
And of course, the answer is yes, because we know that sine 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. And we know that cos 60 degrees is equal to half. So this right hand side can be written as sine 60, because now we found that A is equal to 60 degrees. So we can write it as sine 60 degrees plus y. And of course, from trig also, we know that 2 sine y cos y is simply equal to sine 2y. Now we have a much simpler equation that we can solve for values of y. The solution to this equation has two branches. The first branch is that 2y is equal to 60 degrees plus y. Subtracting y from both sides, we have that y is equal to 60 degrees. This is the first solution. Now, the second branch. is 2y is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees plus y plus 360 degrees times n where n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on so opening this bracket we have 2y is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees minus y plus 360 degrees multiplied by n. One hundred and eighty 60 is 120 degrees minus y plus 360 degrees times n. Adding y to both sides of this equation, we have that 2y plus y is equal to 120 degrees plus 360 degrees times n. 3y is equal to 120 degrees plus 360 degrees times n. Dividing both sides by 3. We have that y is equal to 120 divided by 3 is 40 degrees plus 360 divided by 3 is 120 degrees multiplied by n. Now, when n is equal to 0, we have that y is equal to 40 degrees plus 120 degrees times 0. And of course, that is 40 degrees. When n is equal to 1, we have that y is equal to 40 degrees plus 120 degrees times 1. That is 120 degrees plus 40. And we have 160 degrees. When n is equal to 2, we have that y is equal to 40 degrees plus 120 degrees times 2. 120 times 2 is 240 plus 40. That gives us 280 degrees. When n is equal to 3, we have that y is equal to 120 degrees times 3 is 360 degrees. So that simply means that we have gone the full cycle. So the sign of whatever value, whatever angle we, we get now, will be equal to the sign of 40 degrees. So we stop at n equal to 2. Now we have got four values for y. We know that y1 is equal to 60 degrees. y2 is equal to 40 degrees. y3 is equal to 160 degrees. And y4 is equal to 280 degrees. But remember that we are looking for values of x. And we have that. x is equal to 1 over sine y. So we have that x1 is equal to 1 over sine 60 degrees. 
and from our special angles, this is root 3 over 2. x2 is equal to 1 over sine 40 degrees. x3 is equal to 1 over sine 160 degrees. And x4 is equal to 1 over sine 280 degrees. Now, using a calculator, we have that this is equal to 1.5557. This is equal to 2.9238. And this is equal to minus 1.015. So these are the four values of x that satisfy this equation. And that brings us to the end of this exercise. I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained. If you enjoy such content, remember to subscribe. And please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. Thanks and see you in the next one.